the way up, we'll hear a sound, the bar will go red, and after we right click to taunt, well, I'll let the footage speak for itself. Let's get him! So yeah, we get 10 seconds of guaranteed crits, which can cause mayhem like nothing else in TF2. Now the fact it also happens to be pretty damn easy to use in conjunction with its power has earned Five, it quite four, a notorious reputation three, as a lot of people two, see it as this brain one, dead broken control that can just the game on easy. And there is some truth to this. Ultimately though, I think it is our best bet if we do want to get 10,000 kills in 7 days, so unfortunately, I'm gonna have to indulge in this so with our strategy figured out, I think we need to lay down some rules about this challenge. Firstly, how are we going to keep counting the kills? I explained this in my last challenge video, but in TF2 there are these things known as strange weapons, which cost a little extra money to purchase, but they automatically keep count of every kill we get. This is super convenient for the challenge, so all we need to do is get our hands on a strange phlogistonator, which is just over a dollar on the Steam market, and, well, you know I'm not going to do that. Just like I did for my last challenge, this is going to be a special video, so I think we need to splash some cash something a little more luxurious. Now if you're an avid trader in TF2, you might know a thing or two about collector's items. I won't go too in depth, but basically they're super rare and you can't really get them anymore, making the supply super restricted and therefore the value super high. Now you may be wondering what a collector's item actually changes for the money, and that's a fantastic question because you get red text. You see? Right there. It's not yellow for unique, it's not orange for strange, it's red. Red for collectors. But hey, hey, don't worry guys. I have a little secret. I actually recently created a business in Australia for my YouTube channel. So this, this little $400 purchase, that's a tax write-off, baby. I can argue that this purchase was necessary for my business to make some money. And just to prove it, I actually decided to name my phlogistonator the exact piece of legislation to prove to the Australian tax office when they come and audit me that this is in fact a legitimate piece of business expenditure. But okay, uh, now that my tax write-off is finalized, let's take a look at what we can and cannot do for the next seven days. The main rule for this challenge is that I cannot use strange farming servers, which are basically places where you can kill AFK players <laughs> on repeat to rack up a bunch of kills super quickly, and that undermines what I am going for entirely with this challenge, so they